Hi, attack for fallibility. Zere. If you don't know what we do yet, go check in the description. Remember to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get noticed when we pop up new videos. It's 2020, last year was manic, so I didn't manage to get videos at the end of the year on. Um, I've got a lot of content that I'll share with you. But for now, what I wanted to show you is something that we actually don't stock. And this is the way I do business. I want to give you a tip. You can't buy it from us at the moment. Uh, it's electrical equipment. Um, but I'll give you the specifications that you can buy. It'll save your three-phase equipment for you. So for instance, a pump. That's why I had to install it. I had a pump that burned during the December period when the power went down and the power came back on and one of the phases went down and uh, subsequently the pump burned so it costed me a couple of grand so this is the way I do business I'd rather save you the money on a pump or equipment and you can spend it on something nice like a Weber Bry or something like that you know you can decide so you'll see the drawing I'm just going to show you the bare basics how it looks and how it works um, if you've got any comments pop it below and yeah simple and easy i'm gonna the wiring of the display units i'll explain to you as well now when i'm showing it to you okay so this is the mce 65 amp contactor um, here is your indicators for your voltage so you'll see it flickers but you can see there so you'll see if it uh, if it's a grid failure or a phase failure because on a phase failure it'll go off but it'll pull out your contactor so remember, don't always just believe it will work, actually test it. I can also make a mistake, but I have tested this. So do make sure that it does work, switch off your power, pull out the cable, switch it back on and see if your contactor pulls in. If it doesn't, you know it works. And check your voltage uh, with your multimeter and see if it correlates. So this, you just run a little cable from here to your blue one, white one to the white or yellow and in red to the red one and then at the bottom there's a little thing you'll see on the photograph that connects all the neutral cables and then from the one to your neutral bar and I'm gonna have internet trolls going yeah but you didn't cut this perfectly and 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 yes I know this is a temporary installation we did because we are gonna move it over in a month or so so this was just uh, to get it in and protect the pump so there is your electro v3 uh, Voltage window comp comparator. Jeez, that's a big word. <laughs> okay, so there you set your over voltage, here you set your under voltage, and on your equipment you'll see what under and over voltage it can handle predominantly. There you've got a little light showing that it's on, and when it kicks out on over voltage, it'll indicate there, and if it kicks out on under voltage, it'll kick out there. So let me quickly show you as soon as we go under voltage. There you can hear it goes off and there you can see the light comes on right now we're going to set it back and there we go pulled in all right and the same with the under voltage <clears throat> i'm not going to do it many times because i don't like the electricity going on and off constantly so your under voltage <coughs> will uh, get your fridges and stuff to uh, burn the compressors so ideally that's not what you want the whole setup uh, and I bought it out from a reputable electrical supplier was in a regional about two and a half thousand rand so and uh, just remember you can't install it if you're not a qualified electrician you can install it but you have to get a COC from an electrician so make sure that you get an electrician if you want to install it yourself to come and sign it off because you can have liability issues and an ant. Okay, so just remember that is South African law. Uh, do what you want to. Ours are installed, pump is running again, all happiness, and now we know we're protected. And we do this as it comes out from the main line so that uh, you know that all your equipment is protected. And yes, it has its drawback because then if one phase goes off, all your other equipment's down. I'd much rather have that than um, having a pump burn or a welder or any of that kind of stuff cool hope you enjoyed it it's lovely speaking to you guys again have a good one and remember to subscribe and go to fallability.zz and go check out our specials ciao